You know what show I've never seen? What's well, that? you're about to know. Uh, in this episode, I talk about a movie that I'm surprised I hadn't even seen yet. Um, Quentin Tarantino is one of my favorite directors. Yes. And that's what I'll give you as we go into this episode. Um, but my pal Josh here has already seen it, of course, a long time ago. But yes. I remind him of the joy of seeing it for the first time. Yes. So let's talk about that. Wouldn't you say so, Josh? Yes, I would say so. And I'm curious to hear the film that you haven't seen. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, let's, let's do go. this. Let's do it. Josh, you're going to be so proud of me, but at the okay. same time, I'm surprised if you don't remember. Okay. I had never seen one Quentin Tarantino movie. There's one oh. that I had just never seen. Desperado. Jack, Jackie Brown. Oh, yeah. I've never seen Jackie Brown. That was really good. Now. What'd, you, what'd you think? I loved it. Like, I know. It was really good. Yeah, so good. Like, the story is just so, like, I, Quentin Tarantino can tell an amazing story with so many, like, different things happening, but it's so easy to follow. Like, he can tell you this one storyline from this point of view and, and the same storyline from this point of view, and then it all clicks and makes sense together. And I love when he does that, right? Like, yeah, I love that. Uh, so, Robert De Niro, uh, I had no idea he, he was in this movie. Okay. So that was a surprise to me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a while since I watched it. Man, let's go back and... Samuel yeah, Jackson with the long hair ponytail. Yes. Like, oh, my gosh. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, so 19, 1997, man. That's yeah. Um, yeah, I really liked it. It was it was a great movie. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, okay. So that's the only one you haven't seen yet, huh? No, I have. Uh, Robert Forster, um, he plays uh, Max Jerry, the the bail bondsman, mm -hmm. um, in it. Uh, he's like the like the dad in um, Blue Bloods, uh, that that new show um, out or new old show. But like Pam Greer as as Jackie Brown. Um, uh, Bridget Fonda was in it. Uh, yeah. Michael Keaton uh, played the. He was the other one I was trying to think of. Chris Tucker uh, was in it for like you know a, a cameo. Uh, like all these people I did not even realize worked with Quentin Tarantino before. Um, and then the fact that man uh, Robert De Niro was was in it um, that shocked me. But like just watching that story play out and like the turn that it takes and yeah. So uh, I've now seen all of his movies and I'm super excited for his tenth movie. Because it's, he says it's going to be his final movie. Wow. Yeah. So it'll Do you know the name of that? Or? The final movie. Um, I don't think so. Let me check real quick. Hmm. Uh, it's something called, oh, that's a, that's a TV show. Yeah, I don't know. Um, man, I tell you, the, he's done some great movies, you know. Something that really takes me back was Reservoir Dogs, man. Oh, yeah. Um, that was really cool, and obviously Pulp Fiction, but another one that, that fans may or may not have seen was Natural Born Killers. Oh, yeah. Man, Tony that was... Nelson's role in that. I know, he, he did phenomenal. And then, you know, they portrayed Juliette Lewis, who was such an odd character in the 90s. Um, and now, when you look back, you're just like, yeah, I get yeah. it. She's awesome. I get it. So, so yeah, yeah he's done great. Go ahead. Reservoir Dogs. I guess I haven't seen My Best Friend's Birthday. I, I never even heard of that until now. Yeah, I was gonna say there was a couple I didn't see either. Let's see, let's go back here. Well, now I'm adding movies to my list because I haven't heard of Four Rooms either. Yeah, so my best friend's birthday—I've never seen that before. I've seen True Romance. It's been a long time since I saw that. Um, but um, the story, uh, like you know, he knows um, Robert Rodriguez real well. And do you know how they met? Um, I think they met through Desperado, right? I think that was the first kind of um, okay. El Mariachi. Um, and no, right, there you go. Yes, were, were both in the same uh, film festival awards. And gotcha. they, they met each other and um, got to work together later and brought us uh, <laughs> uh, Desperado Dust Till Dawn. Yeah, right. Uh, and, yeah, Desperado and uh, from Dust Till Dawn. And then eventually they'd get together and do Grindhouse, um, which I, I think was phenomenal. Like, cause, yes, I, I really yeah. liked it as well. Like, um, it, it just it felt like you were in the, that, you know, just run down kind of Grindhouse type of theater, right? It's like not a theater where you go see great movies. You just go for the kind of like the experience of watching a torn up film play on a screen and just that whole. But you brought it home in a DVD and, and it was back to back double feature, Planet Terror and Death Proof, right? And it's like both of them were, were good. Like Another movie that I felt like um, may or may not have done well, but The Hateful Eight. Oh, I love The Hateful Eight. Man, oh that, was, that was phenomenal. I don't feel like it did really well. Um at the box I, office, I just but, loved but, it. but that movie was cool. I saw that one, and there were just uh, absurd times, you know, just like, like what is happening yeah. here? Yeah. Like, why, why, what's going? You know, it was just awesome, and it, yeah. and it stars it stars one of my favorite favorite actresses of all time, Jennifer Jason Lee. That chick is a champ. She's been acting for a Ever. long time, forever, yeah. a long time. I mean, oh my goodness, I, um, before I was born, even, if I can say that, but you know, I'm telling you, man, 
yeah. just a good good old good good show here just a good show um i tell you what i just um saw her in, in another movie i watched um just now but we'll get to that here in a second um but you mentioned hateful eight um, that's another movie that um pretty much takes place in like one room um a lot of it does right and yeah. it's just so beautifully done like that's that's proof that if you can write a good story it doesn't matter like the scenes and like how you set it up as long as it's a, a story that can be told well um and then um uh, man inglorious uh bastards oh my gosh one of one of the best like nazi killing fun movies um there is um and then uh oh where is it Django. yeah another one fantastic speaking of jamie fox we talked about him you know earlier uh, uh in uh they call him tyrone but uh man uh hateful or uh Django unchained is one of my one of my favorites too like almost no none of these movies do i not like or do i not enjoy. right uh, I, I, and, and obviously we forgot to mention kill bill i mean yeah oh kill bill that's good his, night like pg-13 amazing story proof that he doesn't have to get terribly awful with it and still tell a freaking great story so, Fox Force five so kill bill to me also was uh, the first time i think we got introduced to asian cinema uh, yeah. and the fact that they had the squirting blood and the yeah. head coming off, like and, and and Japanese Chinese movies, these things have been going on already. Um, yeah. There's huge shock films that have kind he of paid portrayed tribute that to those right exactly in his own way, and it's exactly. Right? And it's like exactly. the fact that he was inspired by that and then could bring that to American culture and for the yes. first time, yes. and like the part uh, Lucy Liu's character's backstory that goes animated on us in Kill Bill's. I love that. That's like one of my favorite scenes. Is like you know, of course, a very sad story, but like wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then David Carradine in that. Yeah. Yeah. And then, I mean, we, we mentioned all the rest, so we might as well mention Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Like, right. Uh, yeah. I mean, Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio and Margot Robbie all written under, you know, uh, the, this really great show. Like, it's just a fun, like, you feel like you're really experiencing life in a Hollywood, the music in, in that movie um and everything yeah just, yeah that, that's one thing quentin tarantino definitely knows how to do is put together a score um of music he didn't write right of, of like songs that'll actually take you to the moment um and i think that's pretty cool okay so. yeah all right guys we're back we're back uh special shout out to uh anything quentin tarantino makes uh and from what i heard there's the one last movie he's I gonna hope do so. i hope um, not that but dude's dude's just phenomenal right he's such a good storyteller Right, right. Uh, if he stops making movies, that's like loss of American, a great American director, you know. So, 100%. yeah. So again, guys, uh, we just want to say thank you so much for listening. We really appreciate you, you know, your time um, or watching. Uh, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe. You know the drill, and uh, let somebody know that you watched the Movie Bro Show, so we can kind of expand on that. Uh, and thanks again, Jeremy, for having me on. The yeah. bestest co-hostess in the westest, yeah. eastest. <laughs> Just remember, if anyone ever tells you a story backwards, they probably stole it from Quentin Tarantino. True that. Peace. Peace.